Hi everyone, it's Muriel. I'm here this afternoon to share with you some Christmas cards that I've been making. I've made a ton, so I wanted to show you um, how I made them. This is the last one I'm going to make today. My uh, <clears throat> inspiration came from Amber over on Lyric Lover Crafts. She made this, excuse me, she made this card three years ago. And I've, I saw her when she made it then, and I pulled it back out because it's a way to use lots of paper, and the card base can be the actual pattern paper, right? So when you open it up, it has a beautiful design. So I have six that are that way, and then these last ones that I made are just have a craft base, so the inside will have nothing but a um, piece of paper, that you can write on if I can find it. I can never find stuff in this room. There it is. Okay. I just cut out some oval shaped um, uh, white paper and then a person can write their message that way. So this is, um, and I'm going to attach her tutorial so you can follow her um, way of making it because the cards she made were five by seven, which I did make some, but here I found some cut apart and I decided to make some that are five by six so if you want to go a little smaller by all means you can so here's my base it's just card um card stock i think it's from a pack of park lane you know big paper that i had to cut down so the first thing i want to do is let's turn her over is get my sticker on the back a couple weeks ago i went ahead and used my xyron and got a lot of these already prepared because I knew I would be making a ton of cards. So we got that there. Then the next thing I want to do is add in one of these oval uh, pieces of paper. And I'm going to use some of this um, heavy tape here. I've been in here all day, you guys, just getting these, knocking these cards out. Um, and like I said, I've, I've done a lot. So I'm going to finish up um, with this tutorial, this video. And then I'm going to go and do my hair. Because you know that takes 2.5 hours to do. So let's put a little glue on these sides here. I've been having glue um, bottle issues. I just need to really, really clean them out. Okay, so... Let's put that like this. This is just a oval shape nesting die set that I have. Um, I can't tell you where I bought it. I don't even remember, but it's large, right? So this is not even the large one. They're larger. The other ones are bigger than that. So there we go. Let me um, use a bone folder to kind of keep this closed. There we go. Okay, so the card is five by six. So I just cut out a piece of five by six and the collection I am using is <laughs> wow <laughs> I thought it was here I hope I didn't throw it away but between now and the end of the video I will show you the paper collection that this comes from and if you have it then uh, you're good to go you should uh, try making some of them so I have some tape on the back. I'm just going to go ahead and peel this off. Go in the trash can. Just put it over here. You know, I'm like a creature of habit. I know that my trash can is right on my left. And when it's not, I'm all out of sync. Okay, I'm just going to put some on these edges here. I hope everyone is having a great Sunday. I know I am ready to bring it to a closure, though. Once I do my hair, then I know that it, it, we're, we're getting ready for Monday. Let's see here. Okay. Let's get you flattened. Okay, then I have a piece, uh, and again, her measurements will be different. This one here happens to be a one inch because it was just a strip from the remaining um, paper collection that I had. So I'm just going to uh, lay it here, and I fishtailed mine at the bottom. I know um, 
Amber did not, but I wanted to uh, make mine a little different, right? When, you, when you're recreating someone else's idea, you always want to change it up a bit. So I'm just going to put a little tape on this strip. And then I'm going to line her up with the top about an inch in or half in and then press her down. And that I saw that when it went crooked, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, the next piece is a piece that is three by four. And this is all from um, uh, one collection. Like I said, I wanted to show you which one it is, but oh my gosh. I don't know where it disappeared that quick because I started putting stuff away so I could have shoved it into one of these um, folders, but um, I think it's Simple Stories, Hearth and Holiday, maybe. Anyway, let's get some tape on this. So Amber tutorial, she uses a really, uh, really beautiful. Um, oh, great. What happened here? We don't know. We're going to keep it moving. I don't know what's wrong with my glue gun. Me and my sister was just online talking about that ATG gun and... I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, yeah, Amber's uh, video will show you exactly, give you measurements, diagrams, everything. So this is as a three by four piece. I'm just going to layer down right there. And then the next piece I have is a three by five. Okay, so it goes over the width of the card so that you can see all three patterns. Same thing. I'm just going to put some tape on it. I love using this scrapbook.com, this big, big tape. I think this is the one that I purchased from, I think, um, when they recently had a sale and you got two rolls or three rolls for like $13. It was perfect. Put a little glue. So did you guys go to, um, I ended up going back to Joanne's. Shame on me. I went back because I went to get a friend something. I'm going to mail it out tomorrow. And then I found a few other things. There was some more Maggie Home bows in, in the box. So that was good. So I'm just going to lay this down edge to edge. i tell you that double-sided tape. It gets me every time. Okay, so now you have all your pieces down and then you need a, um, a cut apart, right? And this collection had, uh, it's a six by six or eight by six. It had um, four cut aparts, so I was able to use them. I backed them on some silver paper and this silver paper is from um, either Park Lane has it or the Dollar Tree has some. Um, of the silver, they call it foil card stock, and it's perfect. I've used it, I've been using between the two, I've been using the both of them. So I took it and I put some foam behind it just to raise it up a little. Now I'm just going to put some glue here. Like so. And then I have this little piece here that I know I want to go there. So I want to make sure that my card hits about right there. Okay, I'm just going to punch that a little, press it a little, just so I can make sure that it's straight because I can't, looking down, I can't tell. Did I move it? I think I moved it. Okay. Let's see here. The old you stay put brick. Okay. There. So while that's resting, I have this chipboard piece. This is just from a um, collection I have. I'm telling you, these cards are probably came together with four different collections. The chipboard pieces are from one place, the stickers are from another place. You have the paper. But it all kind of goes together. And when you're making massive cards like I am trying to do, um, I just make sure that the colors jive together. 
So I'm going to put this bow right here next to that present that Santa is displaying. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do there. And that's the card. If you want to add more, you can. If you want to add a larger sentiment, you can. If you want to add flowers, you can. Um, but definitely when I put the link onto her video, from her video, you will see how uh, you can just go bazonkers with making these cards. Okay, so that's the one we made. Let me show you what I made prior. Oh, ATG gun. So here's one here. I'm just using a chipboard piece of a piece of, uh, um, I don't know what that is, branch with a um, pine cone. And then I have nothing on the inside, so why don't we go ahead and do that. I'll just do one and then um, I'll do those off camera. So I do plan on uh, selling these at the craft fair. My craft fair at work is in October. So I'm going to package them five cards um, each and hopefully someone will be interested. If not, then everyone I know will get a card this year. Okay, let's pop this down here. And I also thought that since I had some stickers still um, to use, that maybe I can get rid of them. Let's see, I have like these stickers, but they're all about food. So I don't want that. But I know I have some other ones in here. Let's see. Okay. Oh. Okay, yeah, because this is too much like baking but I have this comfort and joy and it has a few stickers so I think maybe the presents will be good kind of same kind of color pattern so let's go ahead and put this like right there okay. and let's get a homemade sticker like I said, I just punched these out, stamped them, punched them out, and then I just put them in the Xyron and just let it go so that I have them ready when the time comes. So there is the second card. Let's see, here is the third one. There's a little silvery or sparkly candy cane, this nice cardinal, which definitely speaks of Christmas. Okay, let's just, let me just keep going, right? While I have you. I'm just going to do one more. And then I'll whip through them, show you. And then I want to show you the other ones that I made as well. Okay, let's make sure we have this on the right side. Okay. okay. Ouch. My, my scissors are so sticky with glue. It's pathetic. It really is. I, I need to clean those as well. Okay. Get this off. Turn this over. And of course, the envelopes I'm going to be using, I, I, I already had some. And they're probably so old that the um, glue wasn't sticking on them. So, let's use what is on the front here tis the season let's just use these mittens and we'll just put them like this how cool is that right and then the person can say whatever they want and then sticker on the back okay there we go okay so here is, so you can see them, card number four says, that's a wrap. <laughs> and of course, I'll do what I need to there. And then here is the fifth one. And the envelopes, these are, like I said, they're perfect size. They're five by seven envelopes, and I am going to use those, um, but... 
let me show you what I was mentioning, how they are really weak right about here. You can see how that's like, so I've been having to put a little glue there just to make sure because if they send them in the mail, holy crap. And these will cost a pretty penny because they are dimensional. So you have this here and that's raised up. So, oh well. <laughs> but they're big enough for picture cards, right? If the person purchased those picture cards, they can put the picture card here and then they have my, you know, the oval shape and they can write that message. And here is the um, fifth or the sixth one. So great tutorial, great way to use up paper. Amber says that uh, if you can use one collection, that would be great, right? Because everything will go together. Somehow the hues in the paper just all jives. So that was the six that I made after I made the first ones. So here's my first batch that I created and they are five by seven, truly. So the collection I use is a very Merry Christmas. So colorful. This is by Cartabella. The paper is so sturdy. I made bows with it last year, but this year I didn't because the paper so, I mean, I have to really make sure that the staple is holding it and the glue is totally dry. So I didn't want to risk it this year. So when I saw her video, I, I had five or six sheets left. I go, let's just go for it. I had a couple of cut aparts. I had some from here, some from here. Just, yeah. And I think also I may have used, um, there are some stickers in there, stickers uh, from the sticker sheet. So with this here, these are five by sevens. So here is the first card. I use some twine. She shows that in her video. You can see on my first batch of cards, I didn't use the twine. I'm um, using a gold um, word, um, foil word, uh, joy. And I fishtail bannered my strip. Again, just to show a little uh, difference. And then on the inside, this is using the double-sided paper. So it's perfect, right? So the card on the inside is beautiful. And then I have the sticker there and my little signature in the back. Okay, here is the second one. This is from a totally different collection. I just wanted some kind of sentiment, right? Merry Christmas, have a beautiful scene here of a house with the trees in the background, in the neighborhood. And I have this candy, which totally clashes or matches this here which wasn't my intention but okay that's that one yeah these cards are gonna cost a pretty penny to send so here is the third one she's got presents up to yin yang and on the inside there's a cute little um sled with presents again beautiful inside paper so I have no idea what I'm going to sell these for. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's this one, which is so cute. She's wrapping a bow. I found a chipboard uh, bow here. And then it says, hey, Santa. And on the inside, there's Santa with his string of lights. Okay. And then this one here, this card says Angel Hair. I don't know if you guys remember Angel Hair. We used to put that on our trees when we were young. I don't even think, I think they discontinued selling that stuff. It was disgusting. And then there's a nice little ornament. And then the inside is really busy on this one, but but cute, right? And then here's a nice little reindeer. Okay, and then this one here has an image of a car pulling a sled with two children. And then here's a sticker I use, say Merry Christmas. And then I use two stickers here to say two five. And on the inside, there's the car again. <laughs> and then a beautiful image here of Santa. Cut them off a little here, but nonetheless, still beautiful. Okay. And then this one here, a sticker from, I don't know where, it says, Tis the season to be jolly. Beautiful picture of a living room with the tree and the presents. And then I use the word Noel down here. And then on the inside, you have the cute reindeer with Santa's boots on, and then these beautiful ornaments. Okay, and then the last one, it's probably, well, no, it's not the last one, sorry. <laughs> this one here has a beautiful um, sticker here that says celebrate. You have Santa looking down the chimney. I use a sticker here and put the word Santa, and then you open it up. It has this woman with this gift and this beautiful red coat and hat, and then the words Merry Christmas in a small circle um, image, okay? And then the last one. 
is this card here. It has Merry Christmas, this chipboard piece. Um, this, if you can't tell, but this uh, cut apart had, uh, was a longer cut apart. It wasn't three by four. I cut it down. It has an image of a stocking in the background. I just put the sticker of Santa on top. Just kind of thinking out the box. No uh, um, twine. I think I must have ran out, but nonetheless. And then on the inside, you have Santa here just hanging on a string of lights. And then this gentleman with the tree. So I had fun. These cards came out really pretty. It, the paper pad definitely made it. And with the cards, I did make these envelopes. And I did cover the tops with some random... Uh, one-sided paper that I got from Hobby Lobby from one of those packs in the clearance bin. So they will be ready to be stuffed and uh, put postage on. <laughs> lots of postage. And when I say lots, I'm sure $5. Easy, I'm sure. So um, there's all my cards. I'm so glad you guys uh, decided to stop by. I hope you are encouraged and you make some of these. They come out so beautiful. Just find your paper pad, find your scraps. Like a lot of these, I had used some of the paper to make bows. So then I had six, six by 12 pieces left and those worked out fine. You can make these cards any size you want. The cut aparts are uh, three by four. Some paper collections have smaller cut aparts so you can be creative and, and make them that way. So I hope you do try it. Again, I'm gonna link um, Lyric Lover crafts down below in the comment box and i hope you get a chance to make some of these before the season ends thanks for watching you guys bye now